for book one, proposition number 39 of Euclid's Elements, equal triangles which are on the same base and on the same side are also on the same parallels. So if we start with two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle DCB, and we know that they're equal to each other, then what we're essentially trying to prove if we draw some line between A and D, which we can do because of postulate number one, we're trying to prove that this line AD is parallel to this line BC. So the way to start this is to first make an assumption and then show that this assumption leads to some type of logical contradiction. So let's assume that AD is not parallel to BC. And if AD is not parallel to BC, that means that some other line is. And we can draw that line due to book one, proposition number 31, which says that with a given line and a given point, we can construct a line parallel to that given line. So let's construct through the point A, a line parallel to the point BC. And we can label this point where it intersects this line, we'll call this E. So we just constructed AE parallel to the line BC. And then let's also connect the points E and C here, which we can do because of postulate number one. And now notice that we have two triangles, ABC and ECB, which share the same base and end at the same line, which is parallel to the line BC. So we know due to book one, proposition number 37 that these two triangles are equal. So triangle ECB is equal to triangle ABC. But we already know that triangle ABC is equal to triangle DCB. So by common notion number one, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. So triangle ECB must also be equal to triangle DCB. And here's where we get our contradiction. Because notice ECB is just a part of the triangle DCB. And we know due to common notion number five that the whole is always greater than the part. So these two can't be equal. And if these can't be equal, that implies that our assumption is wrong, that AD is not parallel to BC. And if that's wrong, that means we're left with only one conclusion, that the line AD must be parallel to the line BC. So let's write that, that AD is parallel to BC. And we can end with QED.